In this video we're going to look at some more examples of the geometric probability model um, and at the same time I want to show you some functions in the calculator that can help you compute the final answers more quickly. So in this example it says a certain basketball player has a 65 percent chance of making a free throw. Assume, assume all free throws are independent. That's important. What is the probability that he makes his first free throw on the third try? So just to get some fluency with notation, I want to also introduce a variable. We're going to say y, capital Y, equals the number of trials until he makes his first three throw, free throw. All right, so in this in this part A problem, we're asked to find the probability that y equals 3. All right, so um, we know that our probability, our p, is 0.65. And this is one of those situations where you don't, you don't have to think about the model if you want to just think about what's going on. I mean, look, he's, he's got a miss. He's got a miss and then he's got to make it. So the probability he's going to miss is 0.35 so that would be our, our Q there 0 0.35, 0 0.35, 0.65 alright so you can reason through these without having to go back to the model but I just want you to see that the model is going to give us uh, give us our answer if we follow it faithfully and so that ends up being um, 0 0.079625. So I guess I'll write the exact answer out. 0 0.079625. Okay, part B says it takes him two or three tries to make his first three throw. So it takes him two. If it takes them two, that means we want the probability that y equals two. But we also want to add up, uh, we want to add to that answer the probability it takes three tries. So we're actually adding these two, because we're not just interested in the probability it takes them two, we're interested in the probability it takes them two or three. So we need to find these probabilities and then add them up. Well, the probability it takes two, again, that would just happen if it was a miss and then a make. So that would be 0 0.35 times 0 0.65. And then we would want to add that to the probability it takes him 3. Well, that would happen if he misses, misses, and then makes it. So that would be 0 0.35, 0 0.35, 0 0.65. So 0 0.35 squared times 0.65. And now what I want to do now is show you how to, you can just put these in the calculator and, and you know, add them up as separate answers, but there's a quick way to do it, and so I'm going to take this time to show you that. Um, if you want to figure out a particular probability of a geometric, in a geometric model, what you'll want to do is go to your calculator, hit second, and then go to um, the VARS button, which will give you distributions, if you see that in yellow. And then scroll down to the bottom, all the way down to the very bottom, where you see Geomet, Geomet uh, PDF. That will give you, that will give you the, um, the button for a geometric probability density function and what this requires is it requires you to put in two things the first thing is the probability and the second thing is the number of uh, the number of trials you want to run alright so what we would put into our calculator for to, to compute these two probabilities quickly would be geomet PDF and then the probability of our success is 0.65 
And then for our first one, we want to see how many it takes, or what the probability it is, uh, is for two, uh, for his first success to happen at the second free throw. And then we would add that to the probability of uh, it taking him three. And so when we do that, we end up getting I'm going to just copy down the uh, the individual answers just so you can check. This ends up being 0.225, uh, sorry, 0.2275. And then if you don't want to, you don't have to go back, just hit second enter and then change that to a 3. And you'll get 0 0.079625. And, of course, you could just add those up. And when you do that, you get 0 0.307125. So, it took me longer to explain that than you'll actually um, need to actually do it. Um, but, definitely make use of those because, uh, actually in college when I was doing these problems, I didn't... Um, I was stupidly didn't explore the calculator, and I did all these out by hand, um, which was kind of a waste of time. But um, so there's uh, again a couple more examples of a geometric probability. In the next one, we'll do just a couple more uh, a couple more examples that are just subtle nuances in the type of questions that can be asked, and um, and then we'll we'll summarize the calculator functions.